Welcome to the Wolf Pit. Today I'm making a smoked corned beef brisket, or pastrami. Call it what you want, but it's going to be melting your mouth tender and delicious. So let's get started. I'm going to start by lighting a small spot of the lump charcoal with a hand torch. Just leave the torch in one spot for about a minute and that'll be enough to get the coals going for this cook. And now I'm going to add two chunks of cherry wood for the smoke. And if you don't have cherry wood, use apple, oak, or maple, just something mild. And now I'm going to set the grill dome up for indirect cooking. If you're using a regular charcoal grill, simply put the coals on one side and the meat on the other. Or if you're using a gas grill, light one burner and put the meat on the other side. Now I'm going to close the lid and let it come up to temperature. Here I have a three and a half pound piece of store-bought corned beef brisket. This one contains both the flat and the point, and the point is my favorite because it has the most fat, and fat equals flavor. At this point, you can season it with whatever you like. After all, pastrami is simply a smoked corned beef. I'm going to very liberally season it on all sides with granulated garlic and coarse ground black pepper. For a more traditional pastrami taste, use ground coriander as well. I'm not a big fan of coriander, so I'm not going to use it. Once all sides are thoroughly seasoned, I'm going to put it onto the grill dome and cook indirect at 250 degrees for about two and a half to three hours or until it reaches 165 degrees. Once it reaches 165 degrees, I'm going to double wrap it in heavy duty aluminum foil. And then at that point, I'm going to put it back into the smoker. You can put it into the oven to finish cooking, but I'm going to let it cook until it reaches 195 to 200 degrees or until I can easily slide a probe in and out. And once the pastrami is tender, I'm going to take it off the grill and let it rest for about an hour before slicing. And right now is the perfect time to use a meat slicer if you have one. But since I don't have one, I'm going to use my slicing knife and slice as thin as possible. And don't forget, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also, if you're not already subscribed, hit that subscribe button and come back every Tuesday and Thursday for a new cooking video. Look at how moist and tender this is. Now try to continue slicing without eating all of it as you slice. And now I'm going to add a slice of Jewish rye bread to some melted butter for a hot pastrami and cheese sandwich. Followed by a slice of Swiss cheese. Lots of homemade pastrami. One more slice of Swiss cheese and one more slice of rye bread. Toast on both sides for about two minutes or until the cheese is nice and melted. And there you have it, a homemade hot pastrami and cheese sandwich. Thank you all very much for watching. I hope you give this a try and don't forget to come back every Tuesday and Thursday for a new cooking video.